everyone. Welcome to my webisode. Well, episode of um, you know my gaming reviews. Um, I was supposed to really do um, a video for you know yesterday, but um, I don't know. It was, it was getting kind of late, and I had to go to bed for school, so decided to do it for today. So um, yeah, last week, last Sunday, I reviewed Halo, Halo Reach, and I gave that a good score, five out of five. Um, the game for today that I have in store, well, there's many games that I have, but I'm not really sure what I was gonna review on, but I don't know, I just decided to review um, this game, Fallout 3. Um, yeah, it's another used game with the yellow tag, which I hate. Um, I mean, the yellow sticker. But, yeah, yeah, twenty four ninety nine. you can see. I'm not sure how much it is now, but, yeah. Um, but yeah, this game, got everything in here, the book, and, I mean, the manual, and the CD. Um, but yeah, this game... Basically, the score I'll give it, I'll just basically give it a score right now and then give it a 5 out of 5 because it's a pretty good game. Um, there's not really much to say about this game, but, um, well, you know, you start off in a vault where, you know, when you're younger and then after that you grow up to, and when you get to a certain age, you'll be able to leave the vault because it's something that happens and you're able to go out into the world. And, you know, I like how, you know, they implemented that, that, you know, you start out as a baby, then you can grow older and then eventually then you can, you know, go out on your own when you get to a young adult and you know because you're looking for your father and you know you're going through this wasteland that's been destroyed by you know atomic war and stuff like that uh, I mean nuclear nuclear war pretty good game you know everything is like um you know everything is polluted the water is not um everything is tainted the water you know food everything so it's like hard for you to survive you know certain things that you find the environment um you know poisons you and there's like some places that have like good water like you know purified water such as the, um, uh, damn, I forgot the I forgot the name of the place, but it's like the building where you know the rich people live, and they have like all the good, good stuff there. And basically, you know, that's what I went towards that, um, you know, that story, like on that path where you can you know move into there in the apartment after when you blow up, um, Megaton, which I've done, which I shouldn't have done, but the explosion in that part was pretty good. I'm not sure if anyone has played this game, but when you get to that part, it is mainly at the beginning when you get to the part where you be able to blow up Megaton. It's a very good scenery when you can see it from that far. Just that I felt kind of sorry for what I did, but I'll you know I'll start this game over anyway. I'll start it over to do it over. Just I mean do everything over again. But you know, seeing that I have many other games to play, such as Final Fantasy 13 and all these other games that I got, I won't have any time to play this you know as of now. But you know, one day I'll be able to go through it again and do it. I feel that I mean I'll do it that. What I think I would do in real life, you know, that what I would really do instead of doing something that, you know, just to, you know, play around. It wasn't really just a playing around thing. I just wanted to know what happened, but I should never save the file. But I got achievement for that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, you know, you can be, you could go towards a path of good or bad, which I like in a lot of RPG games nowadays because, you know, sometimes I know a lot of people do get tired of being the hero. So, you know, of course you want to be like the villain for sometimes or maybe, you know, certain decisions in the game. You don't want to be able to be forced to choose what you want to do. You know, you want a game that you can do whatever you want. Like, anyone says something, you can, you know, you don't have to do exactly what they say. Or if you don't want to fight something, you don't have to fight the monster. You don't have to help this person and, you know, st stuff like that. Um, you know, this, this game really interests me because, you know, it gives you that. It's like more of a sandbox sort of, you know, title where you can just move around freely and do whatever you want with that, you know, that, that sense of, of freedom. You don't have to be, you know, forced to do anything or a linear game, which is Final Fantasy 13, a very linear game. That's what the bad thing about that game, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Once I beat that game, which I'm on the third disc now, <laughs> once I beat that, then I'll be able to review that game. But I like games like this where it's not linear and you can be able to do whatever you want. Only certain RPGs is all right like that. Like some JRPGs that I really like that, you know, you won't, they don't actually implement that, but you do have... It's not really that linear because you still have a real map and everything like that. You know, like games such as Tales of Vesperia, um, you know, Lost Odyssey, games like that I really like, as, I love as well. Um, but yeah, another day I'll be able to review those games because I'm a very big, you know, RPG fan. But but yeah, games like this I really like. Um, another game, of course, that's just like this um, is Mass Effect, which I like as well. And I have that game, but well, I don't have it anymore. But I was, I could still be able to review that one. I don't know, maybe an upcoming web shows. I'm not sure I'm going to review what I'm going to review next Sunday, but you know, I'll have that all posted up. But, um, yeah, this is a very good game. 
Um, took me a very, very long time to beat because there's so many side quests. I'm not even sure if I'm already finished with all the side quests yet, but I pretty much completed everything in this game. So I'm not sure what else I have left to do. Actually, yes, I have the downloadable contents, which I haven't um, gotten yet. So I had basically I had to download all of those, you know, buy all those, download all those, and play the the um the alien ship one. I forgot the name of it. Um, there was I think three other ones. I'm not I don't remember the names of them, but there was three other ones that I wanted to play. And so I definitely have to download all those and then basically check those out so I can actually have a full review on this. I shouldn't have probably probably I should have waited until I get all of those first before I reviewed you know this because. Basically, with all those expansions onto this, basically that's make, this makes the game complete. So this is basically half of the game I'm reviewing right now. But you know, when I when I get those um contents and you know I'll be able to review on what I feel on those contents. But you know, that get this game is very good. Um, Fallout New Vegas, I haven't played yet. I heard a lot of you know, a lot of things people told me about it. Like basically a lot of criticism against it that about the glitches and every, I heard that they fixed everything. Uh, you know, they fixed up all the glitches, they fixed up all the bugs that they had in the game. People I heard complaining about it. Some people now say that it's pretty good. Um, you know, and it's, it's very cheap as well, so, I, you know, I definitely want to pick that up to try it out. I haven't tried it out earlier because, you know, people, a lot of reviews, reviewers and people that have had the game told me that, you know, they complain about it, saying that, you know, the glitches, all these stuff happened. So, that's why I didn't, I didn't, you know, decide to get it yet. But I heard that it's a very good game from, you know, my brother has the game, so he says it's a pretty good game. Um, and it's also cheap in GameStop now, so, you know, better, better off to pick it up now, you know, that's pretty much, you know, it's, you know, it's cheaper now, it's not like it was 50 or 60 how it used to be, I think, like, last year, so, you know, it's a pretty good bargain now, so, might as well get it and try that one out, and get the concept for this game, and try to, try the full, full, complete game of this as well, and get the concept for New Vegas whenever I get that, so, uh, yeah, so Fallout 3, give it a 5 out of 5, and, you know, this is a very good game. I think a lot of, you know, people that love sandbox titles and especially you into RPG like me, this would be a very good game to pick up. Mass Effect is a very good game as well. So, yeah, definitely. And if you're into JRPGs, then I definitely should pick up Final Fantasy, even though it's in there. And um, uh, Tales of Vesperia and Lost Odyssey. Those are pretty good games as well. So, yeah. So, 5 out of 5 for Fallout 3. And hope you all enjoyed this, this um, episode. And I'll see you all next Sunday for my another gaming review. I'll post anything on my blog or um, Twitter that, you know, whatever. I'm not really sure I'm going to review yet, but I'll let you all know. So I'll see you all later, and thank you for watching. Nice try! Away from there! Now! Rift! Squashed!